stay in the office then, Prime Minister. <laughs> I would also want to share the condolences for the tragic events in the beautiful city of Strasbourg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year, the Prime Minister told us that there wasn't going to be a general election, and then there was. This week, she told us she wasn't going to pull the meaningful vote, and then she did. Can I ask her now if she's going to rule out having a general election and a people's vote? Minister. Yes, can I, can I say to the Honourable Lady, first of all, that I think that a general election at this point in time would not be in the national interest in the middle of our negotiations. And secondly, and secondly, and secondly, as she will have heard me say before in this House, I think we should respect the result of the referendum that took place in 2016. And Nigel Mills, given what we could call uncertainty about the future of the withdrawal agreement. Could the Prime Minister give people some certainty, that's EU nationals in the UK, that whatever happens to that deal, they will be allowed to stay on roughly the same terms as are in that draft agreement? Well, my honourable friend raises an important point, because I know that EU nationals living here in the United Kingdom will be concerned about what might happen in the circumstances if a deal is not agreed. We've been very clear as a government, obviously the withdrawal agreement that we've agreed does uh, respect the rights and protect and guarantee the rights of EU citizens living here, but in the unlikely event of no deal, I've been clear that this government will still protect EU citizens' rights, and we would wish to, we wish to, know, would wish to know that actually other uh, EU governments would respect the rights of UK citizens living in the EU as well. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.